my pleasure to be joined by the Vice President of Southern Sudan, Dr. Riek Machar. Thank you very much for joining us. Maybe if you could begin with the first question, what does separation mean for Southern Sudan? Well, independence, uh, politically, economically, socially, a nationhood. That's, that's, that's what it means to, to them. They will decide their own affairs. And the people of South Sudan has never been asked whether they accept uh, to be together with the North or to be separate. So this time they, are, they, they, they will exercise that right. Why the need to separate from the North? There's a difference in, uh, in political outlook. Uh, in the north, they want Sharia to prevail. You see, the, the, actually most of the major political parties, including the Communist Party, condone the idea that laws of the state must be drawn from the Sharia. Uh, this doesn't help. The, the country together. Let's talk uh, post-referendum. What, what are your immediate plans and uh, do you hope for an election? I think our priorities would remain as they were, ensuring that there is security, which, is, which has been our first priority since the government of Southern Sudan was established. Uh, second, the, the, the basic infrastructure which we so much lack, is improved. So their expectation would be they will have better schools, better uh, hospitals, clinics, uh, more development projects being implemented. This is, this is. Abia is the one region that has uh, elicited a lot of controversy between the two, uh, the north and the south. Uh, what is your way forward and how do you hope to address this impasse? We are committed to finding a peaceful solution to the problem of Abia, uh, and with the way things are, Abia may not conduct its referendum uh, at the same time concurrently with uh, Southern Sudan. It may come on later. relations with the North after the referendum? If we separate, it's still there will be interdependencies with the North. Uh, our border is over 2,000 kilometers. That's the longest border uh, it would be. And uh, we are connected by not less than 50 roads. Uh, we're connected by rail, we're also connected by the Nile, we're connected by the pipelines that emanate from the south. So we, that is why we, we, we hope for a peaceful separation uh, so that this interdependency and interconnectivity continues not to be interrupted. Thank you very much for joining us. That is Dr. Riek Machar, who's the Vice President of South and Sudan, discussing with us the uh, referendum that is expected to take place on the 9th of January 2011.